Hi, my name is Emma Allen and this is Centred Within. I'm an animal healer and I work in connection with you and your animal. The exciting thing for me, upstairs in my cottage, my desk is here and the window is there. Opposite, there are pigeons nesting. Now, about two weeks ago, they were trying for ages to do this nest and it kept falling down and then they kept disappearing and coming back and I didn't think it was going to happen and it happened. Then I can only assume the female pigeon was in the nest for at least five days solid and then disappeared. And I thought, well, that's it. And then I, I can't see inside the nest from up here. And when I walk underneath to go to the shops, I can only see so much from the ground. And I do not want to open this window because it's too close. I don't want to disturb them. So I've got some windows further in the bedroom and I've tried opening next to the skylights. So there's nowhere near them at all to see if I can hear anything. But it's too noisy around. I can't really hear if I could hear a little chirping. So I don't know where the process is, but it's just very exciting. And I just want to share this because I love animals. I'm really connected with animals, but I've never been this close to a nest. And it, the process is really quick. And this is why people say, why do we never see baby pigeons? Because they're fully grown, almost fully grown when they leave the nest. That's why they only have one or two eggs. Because you're going to need a lot of room. There's two big pigeons. And I can see two pigeons in there. They're obviously not the ba her babies or the squabs. They turn into rooks, I think, or something like that. Or rocks. When they're older, little squab. Um, I think I might not be 100% right about that. So I obviously now know that a nest is big enough and maybe that's what they're testing out. I'm not too sure, but it's just so interesting. It's so exciting. I just wanted to come in here and share. But despite all this excitement about the pigeons and what's going on, if you have any questions about me as an animal healer and working with you around the connection with you and your animal, just contact me for more information and I can send you a link and um, answer any questions. As always, sending you so much love. Bye.